so um hello everyone so we will discuss about uh, hadoop distributed file system today um it is a very interesting topic actually and uh, um when we talk about big data analytics so we often came across such technologies which actually facilitate um uh, that that entire field actually that entire uh, paradigm so uh, normally people focus uh, on um analytical point of view uh, analytical parts like understanding the data sets uh, um sql spreadsheets or maybe a machine learning ai um and many other things but uh, what they don't consider is that in practical environment or in commercial environment you need to have such system which can actually um which can facilitate such kind of uh, an uh, analysis because when when we speak about uh, big data actually it has volume vel velocity and variety and uh, many other aspects of it is are huge actually so it is huge in terms of not only in terms of uh, storage but it it is also huge in terms of the complexity of the uh, you can say um, analysis and data mining in the the network uh, traffic or bandwidth you uh, require to carry out such analysis uh, over a large uh, number of computers uh, so all all that hardware setup or architecture is also necessary to understand um so hadoop uh, is actually it is um a framework which is a, which is actually developed by apache and uh, um they um the baseline of that framework is a hadoop distributed file system um hadoop distributed file system uh, is very popular um if you visit their websites uh, they uh, mention that the facebook or many other le leading company they use this uh, framework Uh, as the backbone for um, for the you can say entire um, setup um, so so that means uh, um, this has some this this uh, framework is very flexible uh, in terms of uh, uh, usage and uh, development as well so uh, actually it is an open source framework and uh, and anyone can uh, actually make use of uh, its capabilities according and tailor it to uh, his or her uh, own needs or organization needs or the type of analysis you are putting uh, it to so let's move forward so um, as i mentioned earlier that it is a distributed file system and uh, the specialty or uh, highlight of this uh, distributed file system is that it is uh, not only open source but it it can run on co any commodity hardware that means uh, uh, um, it can run on your personal computer as well you, know, you don't need to have a specific uh, client computer uh, or specific high end uh, machines uh, high spec machines uh, for the deployment of such uh, systems so uh, this is a very uh, very actually um, big advantage in terms of uh, hadoop you all of you can uh, configure hadoop on it but there are obviously uh, certain requirements uh, um, uh, for the configuration of such uh, uh, environments or systems actually um so um this is the uh, this is the, its website hadoop apache core um it is a part of a, a hadoop project actually and um uh, so um, what makes this more uh, another feature of uh, um hdfs or hadoop distributed file system is that uh it is very uh, or highly um you can say uh, fault tolerant um so i will uh, come to the um questions later on so um fault tolerance uh, it it is very fault tolerant um, because uh, when we talk about uh, hdfs or hadoop framework actually it runs on uh, uh, clusters actually so that means uh, multiple computers are connected through networking and uh, they are acting as one um big machine uh, which we call a high performance computing as well so um so when we are uh, making use of uh, multiple processors or multiple storage units uh, storage units at the same time so 
uh, we always come across uh, such scenarios that uh, one or uh, other one or two machines can go down during the processing or during the running of a job uh, or while the job is running so that that thing is very uh, that can be can become very problematic but uh, had you uh, luckily we have hdfs so hdfs um, actually has the internal capabilities uh, or built in capabilities it is designed in such a way that uh, if if uh, a few machines uh, are going down in your cluster or in your network uh, during the execution of uh, our job it can uh, it can tolerate that fault and uh, uh, it can uh, still complete its job uh, with minimal error so this is uh, something uh, that makes it more distinguishable <clears throat> okay uh, so um, two most important parts of hadoop hdfs is um, we are not talking about hadoop because hadoop has other uh, modules as well right now we are only focusing, focusing on uh, it's a file system which is a hadoop distributed file system so uh, one thing to note that it has a uh, the computers which are connected through internet or which are in um, which are uh, in a formation of a um, hpc high performance computing cluster so uh, they are configured in a master slave configuration uh, so that means uh, one machine is acting uh, all, always acts as a master and the rest of the machines, uh, they act as slave. Um, so actually, uh, there, there is uh, the master machine does not have to be uh, very high end or very high spec. Actually, it can be uh, just a normal machine like uh, other machines uh, or in your HP, uh, in your cluster. But uh, uh, it is configured in a way that it can it acts as a controlling um, party <clears throat> so um, the master computer uh, from hdfs point of view it is called as name node and uh, all other uh, computers which are also called as slave computers they are uh, called as data nodes so that means master is name node and then the the system or the part of hdfs which is controlling or managing all the storage and uh, keeping track of uh, which uh, part of file is uh, is located on which uh, data node or slave. Um, it is uh, the responsibility of a uh, name node. And then there comes the data nodes. Data nodes actually, it can be of any number. It can, um, by the way, uh, I would like to mention here that um, the system which is acting as name node, it can also uh, host a uh, a daemon or module of data node. Uh, so it's it's a name node is just a, um, you can say a name of the module or you can say it's a hierarchy in the architecture um, or a framework of the HDFS. So um, uh, all other systems and including uh, including the master computer can can host our data node. Uh, can be a data node, but uh, the name node can be uh, a specific uh, and uh, only one, um, you can say, a system um, in your whole cluster. So um, uh, normally uh, we configure one data node per system in a or, or in a cluster. Normally we design we call uh, a system as a node in the cluster. So when I talk about when I say that, uh, okay, node. That means a system or a um, processor in the cluster. So this is uh, so HDFS actually it uh, it has a uh, its own uh, file system name, namespace and uh, that allows uh, user data to be stored in the files. So that is obviously for every a file system actually it is a, a compulsory thing to have. So um, uh, very um, so the big question here is uh, how. HDFS manages its uh, uh, files. So let's uh, take an example here. For example, if you have a file of uh, 500 MBs and uh, you want to store it in on your um, in in your HDFS, so you can just uh, simply copy and paste just like any other uh, file system, uh, any other operating system. Um, so, um, 
so what it does actually uh, we it 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 uh, uh, divides the whole file into equal number of blocks uh, in the blo uh, not only uh, sorry not equal number of blocks but the blocks of equal sizes actually for example uh, we can specify the these uh, block sizes like 128 mb 64 mb by default i guess it is uh, right now in the recent version is 128 mb but uh, previously it was 64 mbs as well um, so for example it is 128 mb so if we have a file of 500 mbs so it will be divided into in the chunks or blocks of 100 128 mbs so obviously, uh, and they will uh, each partition will be of equally equal size except the last one. So obviously, last one if if it is not the multiple of one twenty eight, uh, so it uh, it will have uh, obviously less than one twenty eight MBs uh, in um, as a block. So but all other blocks uh, will be of equal size, and um, so these are called uh, this this value that uh, what will be the um, size of each block is, is called as block size and we can specify it uh, according to our uh, cluster uh, requirements or job requirements as well um, you can specify it as a 256 mb as well 500 mb as well so it depends entirely on you where how you are managing the resource so obviously bigger chunks uh, are good but they actually require more memory uh, more computation power and they uh, there are many things related to this um, to um, you can say having a larger block size as well, but uh, now it is not the discussion of, for today as actually. So, uh, so internally a uh, file is separated into uh, one or more uh, blocks and these blocks are stored in a set of data nodes. The name node executes the file system in space of operations like opening, closing and renaming files and directories. And it also determines the mapping of blocks to the uh, data nodes. So uh, once uh, these, these block blocks are made uh, of, out of a single file uh, they those uh, those blocks are stored into in on uh, uh, on separate data nodes actually um so data nodes are actually uh, each data, uh, and that and that distribution of work is done by or managed by name node which is the uh, residing obviously on master uh, node so data nodes actually are responsible for uh, reading and writing requests from the file systems client and the data nodes also perform uh, block creation, deletion, replication upon instruction from the data nodes. So these are common functions which are actually, I guess, uh, they, they, they are uh, common in uh, almost every uh, operating system. Um, so name node and data nodes are uh, the uh, pieces of software design uh, to run on commodity machines. So that actually they are not they are just uh, uh, you can software modules um, in the framework, and uh, they run on any Linux operating system. So, so the, yeah, that, that is a, one of the main thing um, that uh, whoever, if you want to configure Hadoop, you must have a, a Linux based operating system. You can use Ubuntu. You can use uh, uh, any other like Mac OS or any other uh, flavors of uh, Linux as well. Um, on Windows, people. Uh, have to ins install some uh, virtualization mechanism uh, like uh, adopt some much much like virtual machine and uh, then go for uh, configuration of Hadoop on that so th and that uh, that is not uh, a very good operating system uh, um, if you are want to work on uh, uh, Hadoop so HDF is built is built using Java language so that is uh, an important part here that the entire framework Hadoop framework is uh, uh, built on uh, using a Java uh, language, and so that we, it can run on a variety of uh, devices and machines uh, or machines. So that is a very big advantage, actually. So usage of highly portable Java language means that HFS can be deployed on a wide range of machines. A typical de deployment has a dedicated machine that runs on a, only the name node software. So let's move forward. Um, each of the other machines in the cluster runs one instance of data node software. Uh, that is, uh, uh, I already mentioned that uh, um, each other node or machine uh, has a uh, data node daemon. Uh, we normally call that as daemon uh, in terms of framework, but uh, you can call it as a data node software as well. Um, the architect does not pre uh, prelude, uh, preclude 
uh, running multiple deployments on the same machine, but in a real deployment, that is really the case. So architecture is uh, uh, this Hadoop uh, uh, or LTFS architecture is flexible. You can run multiple data nodes on single machine as well, but it is not recommended. And uh, because uh, uh, um, when this will happen, uh, it uh, it will compromise the fault tolerance of the um, HDFS as well. Um, the existence of a single name node in the cluster greatly simplifies the architecture of the system. Na name node is uh, acts as a arbitrator and the uh, repository for all HDFS metadata. Um, the system is designed in such a way that the user data never flows through the name node, okay? So that is the thing here. So this is a general architecture of a uh, name node and data nodes, uh, data nodes, um, uh, as I mentioned, uh, they are on the separate machines and name node on the master machine. So uh, this is how how different operations, read and operations act, act actually, there is a, a new concept here, replication, which is uh, written here. So replication is like, like a, when you create a block, just like a, uh, this, these uh, small green uh, blocks, uh, scare, uh, sm small uh, green scares, they are actually the, uh, due to the replication actually. What is replication? It is coming towards the, um, uh, I guess in the next slide or so. So file system management, yes. Uh, so um, if you are a good user of uh, Linux and you are familiar with the common commands and um, um, or op operations of the Linux uh, um, file system, so you can um, you can operate uh, the uh, HDFS in the similar way. So it has the uh, quotas and uh, user access permissions and uh, um, hard links and soft links and other uh, features uh, similar to the Linux operating system. So this is what uh, is mentioned here in the file system. So it is similar to the traditional um, Linux operating system. So name node maintains actually uh, the entire uh, file system namespace. That means the which kind, what folders are made, which what subfolders are made, what fi files are created, what uh, blocks are created from these files, and uh, uh, where each these blocks are located in the in the on the nodes. On which data node it is uh, located. So uh, this is what uh, actually is man uh, maintained by um, by the uh, name node itself. Um, so one th uh, other concept uh, mentioned here uh, in the point number three is that uh, um, we can also specify the number of replicas of a file. Um, so this is uh, an important feature uh, which makes. Uh, the Hadoop uh, uh, or HDFS actually very fault tolerant. Um, number of replicas means that if you have a file and you are creating, a, for example, uh, four or five uh, blocks out of the single file, so you, you actually create replicas uh, of uh, those blocks. Uh, normally, people try to make uh, at least three replicas of each block. So that means if you have a uh, a file of 500 MB, it will be it uh, the on HDFS actually, it will be sum up to uh, the 1500 MBs. So, uh, because each block is uh, replicated uh, has uh, uh, two other copies as well, and those two other copies are distributed in a way uh, uh, on the different data nodes such that if any of the data nodes goes down, and uh, the, uh, uh, the name node access the uh, data from its replica, which is residing on a separate data node, and uh, it, it completes the job. So this is what we call as is robust and uh, uh, replic um, fault tolerance. So this uh, this phenomena of uh, creating multiple replicas of a single file um, is called a, uh, it is a called as replication factor actually, and uh, this is information is also stored by name node. Obviously, which is actually uh, the main uh, controlling uh, body of the entire uh, organization of uh, HDFS. So, data replication, I as I already mentioned, um, it um, it stores uh, each file in as a sequence of blocks. The blocks of a file are replicated for four tolerance. And uh, blocks and uh, replication vectors are configuration per file. You can configure it for each uh, data set or file, actually. 
So that means you can specify the block size and uh, the application for each job as well. Um, because uh, normally jobs are uh, making use of a single file or single data set at a time. So this is something which is easily config configurable. Um, so this requires a lot of expertise uh, and uh, you can say experience. So um, an application can specify the number of replicas of a file, the replication factor can be specified at a file creation time as well and can be changed later on. And the files in HDFS are the right ones and, ha uh, and have strictly one writer at, a, at any time. So this is something uh, which is uh, actually related to the Hadoop uh, environment that we need to specify the a user which can, uh, which have uh, permission to read and write in the HDFS environment or, uh, on, a, or on your distributed file system. Uh, so name node makes all the decision regarding the application of blocks. It will, yes. So the concept of heartbeat is very interesting. A heartbeat is just like um, after a certain uh, interval of time, uh, name node or master computer actually it uh, sends some packets to the data nodes uh, in order to see that whether they are if the those packets are received back to the name node that means that each data node is connected and there is no fault uh, um, from a cluster point of view that means uh, they can carry out the jobs but if there is a missing in the heartbeat from a, a certain uh, data node uh, then it will uh, you can easily see that, okay, uh, one of my data node is down and uh, you can uh, work on the um, fixing of that uh, problem. Um, so that is called as block report as well. And uh, that can consist uh, a list of uh, all blocks uh, that are present on uh, uh, data nodes. So each data node, uh, first you have uh, our data nodes which can be listed. And then uh, you have, uh, um, each individual blocks, uh, data blocks, which are present on each individual data node. So this is all um, managed by name node, and you can also see what is residing on a particular, in a particular cluster and on a particular data node as well. So this is a, just a general uh, configuration uh, that, uh, uh, just look at the data nodes here. For example, there is a, uh, uh, block of uh, one, and uh, this is uh, replicated, and uh, this is uh, also present on other data nodes as well. So, for example, if machine one goes down, um, uh, uh, we can access the uh, block one from other data nodes and uh, complete the job. So, this is what it makes uh, makes uh, this particular um, system uh, fault tolerant, and that is why uh, Google, Facebook, or many other system uh, companies they use this framework because and they want the continuity of the jobs and processes. So replica placement is a very interesting uh, uh, factor, uh, is an uh, interesting actually phenomena. Um, and um, 